a quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Cancer still remains one of the most deadly diseases on the planet. And even after years of medical advances, cancer researcher Joy Wolfram says that the majority of our treatment drugs aren't properly delivered to the areas of the body they're supposed to treat. Joy suggests an advancement that may solve the problem using nanoparticles to make our drugs more effective and potentially life-saving. What we do in medicine is to send out firefighters because cancer is like a big fire. And these firefighters are the cancer drugs. But we're sending them out without a fire truck. So without transportation, without ladders, and without emergency equipment. And over 99% of these firefighters never make it to the fire. Over 99% of cancer drugs never make it to the tumor because they lack transportation and tools to take them to the location they're aiming for. Turns out it really is all about location, location, location. So we need a fire truck to get to the right location. And I'm here to tell you that nanoparticles are the fire trucks. We can load cancer drugs inside nanoparticles, and nanoparticles can function as the carrier and necessary equipment to bring the cancer drugs to the heart of the tumor. So what are nanoparticles, and what does it really mean to be nano-sized? Well, there are many different types of nanoparticles made out of various materials, such as metal-based nanoparticles or fat-based nanoparticles. But to really illustrate what it means to be nano-sized, if we take 400 of our nanoparticles and we stack them on top of each other, we get the thickness of a single hair strand. So I lead a nanoparticle laboratory to fight cancer and other diseases at Mayo Clinic here in Jacksonville. And at Mayo Clinic, we really have the tools to make a difference for patients thanks to the generous donations and grants to fund our research. And so how do these nanoparticles manage to transport cancer drugs to the tumor? Well, they have an extensive toolbox. So cancer drugs without nanoparticles are quickly washed out of the body through the kidneys because they're so small. So it's like water going through a sieve. And so they don't really have time to reach the tumor, but If we put these cancer drugs inside nanoparticles, they will not get washed out by the body because the nanoparticles are too big. And they will continue to circulate in the blood, giving them more time to find the tumor. And so what other tools do nanoparticles have? Well, they can protect cancer drugs from getting destroyed inside the body. There are certain very important but sensitive drugs that are easily degraded by enzymes in the blood. So unless they have this nanoparticle protection, they will not be able to function. Another nanoparticle tool are these surface extensions that are like tiny hands with fingers that grab on to the tumor and fit exactly onto it, so that when the nanoparticles are circulating, they can attach onto the cancer cells, buying the cancer drugs more time to do their job. And these are just some of the many tools that nanoparticles can have. So what are the major challenges and limitations with currently approved nanoparticles? Well, a major challenge is the liver, because the liver is the body's filtration system, and the immune cells in the liver eat the nanoparticles, preventing them from reaching the tumor. So a future strategy to improve nanoparticles is to temporarily disarm the immune cells in the liver. We looked at drugs that were already clinically approved for other indications to see if any of them could stop the immune cells from eating the nanoparticles. And unexpectedly, in one of our preclinical studies, 
we found that a 70-year-old malaria drug was able to stop the immune cells from internalizing the nanoparticles, so that they could escape the liver and continue their journey to their goal, the tumor. Another strategy for preventing nanoparticles from getting stuck in the liver. Is to use the body's own nanoparticles. All of us have a lot of nanoparticles circulating in our bodies, and because they're part of our bodies, the liver is less likely to label them as foreign. And these biological nanoparticles can be found in the saliva, in the blood, in the urine, in pancreatic juice, and we can collect them from the body and use them as fire trucks for cancer drugs. And in this case, the immune cells in the liver are less likely to eat the biological nanoparticles. This is the type of challenge that requires teamwork from scientists and physicians who dedicate their lives to this battle. And we keep going thanks to inspiration from patients. And I believe that if we keep working on these nanomedicines. We will be able to reduce harm to healthy organs, improve quality of life, and save future patients. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Jacksonville, Florida. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Jacksonville. Want to listen to more TEDx talks? Explore the entire archive on the TEDx YouTube channel. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening, and see you tomorrow.